Alright guys, this is Legit here today, showing you how to make a very basic, basic, basic uh, web browser in Visual Basic. Bearing in mind this is my first tutorial, so, you know, some stuff. Also, I've only uh, learnt some C++ today, this is the first day. My programming venture, if you want to call it that, and be really, sort of, whatever. But, uh, load up Visual Basic, I'm using 2010 Express. And go to New Project, Windows Forms Application, and just name it what you want. So this is just going to be Web Browser... YouTube. Oops, that's not how you spell YouTube at all. Well, it is, but not with two T's. There we go. Okay, and you want to start off by sizing your form to whatever you want it to be. Just clicking on it. Uh, I have my size uh, to an easy sort of thing: 800, comma 600. Then you want to get a panel, drag it out there, and scroll up until you find dot click this little arrow, click the top so it goes to there then you want to go to the common controls and drag out a button and align it top there and then the panel just make it to the size you want so that's perfect there and the panel uh, background, back colour I don't like it white because it's hard to see so I have this colour silver you can just play around with colours, you can have it black, blue, red purple, pink, I don't care well, I do because it's the tutorial following, but it's just customization, you know, personal preference, etc. So I'm just going to make a couple of these buttons. Button three, just button, button two. You want five buttons in total. It'll be a back, a forward, a refresh, stop, and go. I never really use a stop button in my web browser, but you know that's me. Button five, just drag it over to here. That's going to be the go button. Button one. I'm going to do this really quick. So the last tutorial I made was like 11 minutes, and I don't have a partner count so I can't put them on and I sucked at that anyway. Um so you want to go to text and I've missed it. And uh, just to call it back oh, I have the less than size that would be yes it is. That one. And text refresh button I do bracket space zero space bracket. Um, button four should be a capital X for stop. Button 5, just be go and resize these buttons to whatever you like. Come on, being 23 by 23. 23 by 23. 36, 23. And go, I don't know what the size to have, so I'm just going to go with that. And just resize these to what you want. And put that there, it goes fine. Um, and then just drag out a text box into there, and you want to align it with the top of the buttons, not the bottom. Otherwise, it'll just look out of line. So, being that's the bottom of the that of the alignment, that's the top of the alignment. I'm going to drag it to there. And you just want to drag it uh, whatever size you want. Now you've done that, you just want to drag out a web browser into there, and we've got that sorted. Um, if you want to have something, just don't put the web browser in yet. Put down, like, a status bar, status panel, I'm not too, status strip, that's the one. And just when that's in there, uh, you want to have status label, progress bar, status label text, you just want to have blank, and the progress bar. You want to keep the style on blocks if you want it to be compatible with XP and the like. So, um, and the text. No, there's not even text on there. The value, 100. So it'll do that every time a web page loads, if you do it correctly. Now we've got that. You want to put the web browser in. No, let's just make sure we can see what bar. Okay, that's good. Right, you're going to double click on the back button and you want to put in this code. Web browser one dot go back forward button web browser one dot go forward f o r w a r d refresh button web browser one dot refresh put it in the brackets and the stop button is web browser one dot stop brackets and the go button is a 
not even more complicated, but it's just more code to put in. Web browser one dot navigate then uh, bracket then text box one dot text and close brackets. That's it, done basically. Test it out, press F five or the green button up here or debug, start debugging. And just test it out by going to a website, so google.com. You can't press enter, you can only really press go. But it loads. There you go, there's Google, uh, NBC. This has a lot of data, so you can show the stop button, press the stop button. It doesn't all load. When you maximise it, the buttons don't maximise. I'm finding a way around this, I'm not too sure. As I said, I've only really started learning Visual Basic today, but I thought I might just test out my channel and stuff and whack a tutorial on here. But the stop button works, I can show you by pressing refresh and stop. And there we go, there's no data, there's nothing. Refresh button works, back button, forward button. It all works, guys. Um, that's it, basically. And to get to the EXE or whatever, or to finish it off, you want to you save all and save it and just note down the location where it saves to and then um, when you've done that you want to click on debug and click on build and then whatever you call it so I've called my web browser YouTube and down here when it says build succeeded you want to minimize close whatever go to where it saved to and go to um, where it is then click on the folder double click on the folder then bin then release and then this application here will be the finished exe and uh, and paste it. I'm also finding a way how to change the icon. I do know you can just right click properties, uh, customize and whatever and then whatever. So just double click it. I'm gonna delete this other one just to make sure that you guys know. That's in there. There's no other DLL files, I put it in a new folder to prove that there's nothing in there, so I just tutorial just whack it in there. Nothing else in here, nothing hidden, nothing. No DLLs, web browser YouTube HTTP code on slash slash to be really neat www.google.co.uk something in the UK as you probably tell go there you go the NBC let's go to NBC stop button refresh back forward you know everything still works that's the EXE you're done that is the tutorial this is legit signing out more tutorials coming soon please comment like and Subscribe, please subscribe. I need some subscribers to view my videos, please. Thank you, anyways, and uh, more tutorials coming soon, hopefully tomorrow. But I will see you guys shortly.